Tonight, we're in the neighborhood where Russell Tillis lived. People in the area have been watching his trial and conviction for murder. And tonight, neighbors are reacting in just three words. He deserves it. All your sides, Ken Amaro spoke with the community's former councilman about the verdict and the death sentence Tillis is facing. Ken. That's correct. Anthony spoke with a couple of neighbors in that East Bowden circle. Uh, privately, they're content with the outcome. Publicly, they declined to make comment until after the sentencing phase. But former councilman Don Redmond did not mince words when asked about this case. He simply said that Russell Tillis deserves it. On Bowden Circle East, the so-called House of Horrors is gone. It's been replaced by a new home, giving the community a renewed sense of hope. One time he put a horn on the fence to disturb the neighbors. They would go off every 30 minutes. Don Redmond is a former city councilman. He has a business near Bowden Circle East, and he lives nearby. Well, he came down here and threatened me uh, after that, said he would kill me. And, but then he rushed off in his, in his brother's pickup truck. Last week, a jury found Russell Tillis guilty of murder. Redmond calls it the right verdict and says the community agrees. Before he admitted to killing the young lady, uh, they were so afraid that he was going to get out of jail and come uh, and be back where they were, afraid to get out of their houses, you know, be terrorized again. Now comes the sentencing. I talk with the neighbors a lot, and I agree with them that he probably killed more than one person. Tillis confessed to killing at least three women, but police only found the remains of 30-year-old Joni Gunter. At minimum, he could receive life, but he is facing the death penalty. I think if anybody deserves the death penalty, he would be uh, deserving of it. Uh, I think he is a dangerous individual. Uh, I think I think that he has killed people, probably more than one. Uh, so you know, I think that uh, he deserves it. Now, residents tell me that they've complained about Tillis for the past six years, about the activities in this so-called house of horror, and they'll never understand why it took so long to get this case into the courtroom. Again, the sentencing phase begins on Wednesday. Back to you.